guys welcome back to my channel so today I'm going to be showing you how I get my no makeup makeup face this is days where I just really don't feel like wearing makeup but I do like l looking put together pretty much and this is days where it's just like I'm running late to work like today or this makeup is great if you are running late to school anything that you pretty much just want to go out for a walk and you just want to look put together so this is pretty much how I do my no makeup makeup face. I just want to throw out a little disclaimer before I do do this makeup look. I'm not saying in no way, means, or form that I'm not going to wear any single makeup whatsoever. But it's just lightly toned down makeup where it just doesn't look heavy on the face and it doesn't look cakey or anything like that. So I hope you guys enjoy this video and I did want to do this intro before I put on any makeup just so you guys can see the difference. This is going to be a, my first talk through. Is this my first talk through? No, but this is going to be a talk through video so I hope you guys enjoy. Thanks guys, bye. So regardless if I'm not wearing any makeup or if I'm just trying to tone it down, I always apply moisturizer to my skin because Keeping your face hydrated is, of course, the number one thing that you should always do no matter if you are wearing makeup, if you aren't. So, if you guys see my February favorites, you guys know that I use the Clean & Clear Shine Control Daily Face Facial Moisturizer. It's oil-free, so it's great. So, I already applied a couple of layers of that, and it's just to keep my face hydrated. And I'm going to use L'Oreal True Match because... Personally, I just love foundation and I just love the way it feels and I just like covering my redness, my pimples that I broke out, which looks pretty crazy on my lip. Thank you, pimple. And um, I like covering my freckles pretty well. So I use my L'Oreal True Match. It's a medium to full coverage foundation and it's very buildable. So that is why I'm using that. And of course, I use it with my flat top kabuki. Um, but an alternative that you can use is either a lightweight coverage foundation, which is the, this one is the L'Oreal Magic Nude Liquid Powder. It's very lightweight, so that's also a good alternative. Or you can also use a BB cream, and this one is by Maybelline, and um, this is in the color, I believe light. Yeah, it's in What I'm going to do first is I'm going to use my number 7 primer, and I'm just going to press this onto my skin, no matter what. I'm still always going to use a primer because being that I am out all day, I need a primer to help my makeup stay in place. So I'm just going to push this onto my skin. I'm not really going to spread it because this primer, it's kind of like hard to spread with your fingers. So... That's why I like pushing it onto my skin more. Oh, I forgot. Let me put up my hair. Because it's kind of hard to do a makeup tutorial with my hair down. Now I'm just buffing this out with my flat top. What I like to do, instead of just buffing this brush out, I like to just stipple it onto my face and then buff it out because I feel that whenever I stipple it more than just like, like buff it, I feel like I get a better coverage. I really have dark under eye circles, but what I do have is my breakouts because I broke out as you can see so what I do like using is a concealer I mean if you do have redness or if you do have puffy eyes or dark under eye circles you can always just take a concealer and add that it's a couple of extra minutes but I think it'll be worth it but personally I don't really have dark eyes or uh, puffiness so I am just gonna use concealer just to cover any blemishes and just around my nose because that's where my redness sort of preaks through so for that one I'm just taking my Maybelline um, fit me concealer so Just gonna dot that wherever I have any redness. Just gonna blend that out with my finger because it just heats up the prog and blends it out the best that way. And I do like to apply it onto my nose because it just makes my nose look highlighted. So let's take my kabuki brush and I'm just going to dust some stay matte powder on my face. You can pretty much just use a translucent powder that will help your makeup stay in place but if it's a great powder if you are dewy or oily and it will help 
your makeup stay in place, especially on your T-zone. Personally, for contouring, I absolutely love contouring. No matter on days where I am running late or no matter on days where I just don't want makeup whatsoever, I still contour because I love that whole slimming effect on my face, especially the fact that I do have a round face. So what I do like, instead of just contouring regularly, I do like using a glowy contour, meaning that where it has shimmer particles to it. So I'm taking this e.l.f. contouring blush and bronzer and... As you can see, it's like a pink and it's a, a brown. And I hope you guys can see, but it doesn't really come off on camera. But they both have shimmers to it. So I take my brush from MAC and it's an angled one. And I dust off the excess. And then I just normally contour where I would normally contour. So that is the hollows of my cheeks. But instead of doing that, I just like taking the brush all over. And it just gives this great glow to your face. I'm just going to blend everything out with a stippling brush from Real Techniques because no harsh lines, girls. So for a Supernatural blush, I have two choices. I have with my MAC 219 brush, that's just the big fat brush like this. I have two choices. You can either use the uh, NYX blush in the color Natural, which is pretty... If I can open it. <laughs> it's a pretty pink blush and it's just super natural because it's just like a blush that like looks like blood is just running to your cheeks and it just gives you a flash of color and you can also use this one that is super inexpensive it's by um, Jordana and it's like two dollars I think it's number 32 rose silk and it's just the most naturalist if that's even a word naturalist blush that you can use as you can see it's just honestly so natural but today I'm going to go with the NYX natural blush I don't sweep it on I just pat it on using my Bobbi Brown Shimmer Brick Compact in Platinum Pink I think you guys already know that I love this highlight and I'm just taking a small fan brush for this and I am just lightly pressing this onto my highest points of my cheeks and I'm bringing this above my eyebrow. And this is going to give me a glow to my face. And of course, I am bringing this down to the center of my nose. And above my cupid's bow. It's time for mascara. So, um... You do want your eyes to look awake, but sometimes people tend to use a mascara that gives more of a lengthening, lengthening more than a volume. And when you're trying to go for a no makeup makeup face, you want your eyes to look awake. So what you do want to use instead of just a lengthening mascara, you want to use one that gives you more volume. So what I do like using is the Maybelline Rocket Mascara. It's a pretty fat brush and it just makes my eyes look a little bit bigger. So this is what I'm going to use and I'm not going to use like a ton of coats. If you still want to use a ton of coats then go ahead. But I'm just applying some where it just makes my eyelashes look naturally big I guess. <laughs> this is optional. If you do want to hit your bottom lashes you can of course hit them, I'm going, not legit hit them, but I'm gonna I have naturally full brows so what I do like doing no matter what is just setting my eyebrow hairs in place if you don't really have big brows like me you can always just fill them in but I just like setting my eyebrow hairs in place just so that they're not sad eyebrows, they're happy eyebrows. Everything I'm using here is pretty inexpensive. It's all drugstore, and I think the only thing I used that was higher end was my Bobbi Brown. To make your eyes look even more awake, you can use a white eyeliner, and this one is by Wet n Wild in um, Smooth Creamy. Wait, that makes no sense. How is it Smooth Creamy? I don't even know. I don't even know what color it is. Um, you can use a white eyeliner in your uh, waterline and it just helps you look more awake. You can always use a nude also. I know Bremel makes a nude.
I think I'm gonna go with this one by, um, what is this, um, Milani. It's called New Creme, and you saw me guys use this in my February favorites. It's like a great pink and nude. So, it just looks natural. I'm going to top that off with a new gloss by JCAT. So yeah guys, that is my completed makeup, no makeup makeup face. I hope you guys enjoy this look. This is definitely my makeup that I definitely 100% wear on days where I am running late for work like today and days where I just really don't feel like wearing makeup, but I want to look more awake. I hope you guys enjoy this makeup look and of course if you tag, of course if you recreate this makeup look, I would definitely love to see. Don't forget to tag me or tweet me on Instagram. Um, I will leave that all in the link below so you guys can follow me and yeah guys, I hope you have a great day and yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Bye, love you. We locked eyes as you said goodbye.